Hello mighty tech users, good to see you again, and if you are new to the channel then welcome. I hope you would like the video. Today's video is about database management systems or DBMS. In previous video, we talked about the data and database. If you haven't watched that video then click the link in the description or the i button in top right corner. Now, as you know about the data and database, you might be thinking that how do we manage databases? That's where we need DBMS. So, what is DBMS? A DBMS or a database management system is a software that allows creation, definition, and manipulation of database, allowing users to store, process, and analyze data easily. DBMS provides us with an interface or a tool to perform various operations like creating database, storing data in it, updating data, creating tables in the database, and a lot more. DBMS also provides protection and security to the databases. It also maintains data consistency in case of multiple users. Let me tell you about some characteristics of DBMS. 1. Data stored into tables. Data is never directly stored into the database. Data is stored into tables created inside the database. DBMS also allows to have relationships between tables which makes the data more meaningful and connected. You can easily understand what type of data is stored where by looking at all the tables created in a database. 2. Reduced redundancy. In the modern world hard drives are very cheap, but earlier when hard drives were too expensive, unnecessary repetition of data in database was a big problem. But DBMS follows normalization which divides the data in such a way that repetition is minimum. We will know more about normalization in later videos. 3. Support multiple user and concurrent access. DBMS allows multiple users to work on it at the same time and still manages to maintain the data consistency. There are mainly four operations which are performed on the database. These operations are called CRUD operations, where C stands for create, which means inserting a record in database. R stands for retrieve, which means getting a record from database. U stands for update, and D stands for delete. 4. Query language. DBMS provides users with a simple query language, using which data can be easily fetched, inserted, deleted, and updated in a database. An example of query language is SQL, often pronounced as SQL. 5. Security. The DBMS also takes care of the security of data protecting the data from unauthorized access. In a typical DBMS, we can create user accounts with different access permissions, using which we can easily secure our data by restricting user access. Some popular database management systems are MySQL, Microsoft Access, PostgreSQL, Oracle, SQLite and MariaDB. Beginners often go with MySQL or Microsoft Access. We will cover MySQL in detail in next video. Since you are learning databases in DBMS, you might have heard the terms data science or big data, but do you know what are these? If you don't know, then don't worry, we have two separate videos for both. You can watch them by simply clicking on them. See you with the next video. Till then, stay connected. Thanks.